Hi, I'm Bill Black from Spirit River. We have a uh, warehouse uh, where we manufacture uh, a lot of products to tie your own flies and jigs, as well as we have offshore production of a very unique, high quality line of fishing flies and jigs. We're located here in Oregon on the beautiful North Umpqua River. Right behind me is Mount Scott, a little bit of snow on it. And to my left is the warehouse, and I'm going to take you for a quick two or three minute tour. Might turn into five, I don't know. But uh, I kind of want to show everybody a little bit of what we're about. Notice we do take Visa and MasterCard. That's important features to remember with Spirit River. Come on in. Down the hall. This is where our reception room and where we do a lot of our banquets and eating and lunches. We have our kitchen. This is Deborah. She does a lot of our accounting. Say hi. Hi. And this is my position as head of the company. We're uh, doing a little introduction video here at hey. the River. This is Brett. He does all the shipping. And Mike does a lot of the receiving. And he's hiding back here. This is an example of a lot of our materials and how we store them so that we can go through and pick orders. So you can see people here putting... Mike, you're on video. Say hi. How's it going? V, say hello. hello. <laughs> this is a lot of the warehouse staff. Uh, this is our line of um, over-the-edge tackle jigs right here. We have jigs that have a ball, lead ball head on them. And a lot of them are very unique kind of patterns. Uh, traditionally, uh, it started for salmon and steelhead. Now we're starting to do a lot of different bass. <laughs> I brought you into the cage here. This is kind of interesting. Not only do we do feathers, furs, and hair, but again, uh, I've mentioned synthetics, I think, before. But we do synthetics like DNA. These are really popular. This material comes out of the Philippines. So we import all this directly from the Philippines and sell it make some incredible patterns. If you look at some of this stuff, it looks it looks just like the body of a minnow. And then we take magic markers to it, or you can just take some of the other colors and add to it. Put on some great big eyes and epoxy, and I mean they make awesome minnows and saltwater patterns. We've got our own line of hooks. You can see here a lot of our spear it hooks. Um, uh, a lot of these are all chemically sharpened. They come from Japan. Um, we sell other people's products as well, so we're a distributor for other lines. As an example, we do Flying Fisherman sunglasses right here. In fact, I think I got a pair on my head. Um, we do uh, a whole line of Loon products, which are environmentally friendly products right here. Uh, you can see we've got fly floatants, uh, different types of uh, tying materials, head finishes that sort of thing. So this Loon line is actually quite popular. Again, environmentally friendly. You'll find this at better fly shops throughout the country and a lot of them buy it from us. This part of the warehouse is, uh, we call this Iceland because we don't have any heat back here because we're too cheap to get heat back here. And back here we've got a lot of our bulk jigs. Um, uh, you can see they come in in boxes like this and a lot of times there'll be two or three hundred different jigs. Um, you can see we've just got we've got sacks and sacks and sacks. Now what they need is a, a name and a header card on them that'll have a barcode. So we bring them in basically in bulk like this, and then we run header cards through our thermal printers, and that is what we give to piece workers, or particularly me at home at night. I staple all these header cards on. This is a lot of the bulk materials that we have for our factories. We bring in a lot of different bulk materials, like these are popper bodies for size 10 poppers. Um, we bring in a lot of different chenilles and yarns. We have lots of rubber. I mean, look at this one bag of purple rubber. Purple rubber al alone. Think how many flies you can make out of that. <clears throat> Here's some of the lace material that we use to make um, uh, Crazy Charlies for saltwater. Um, here's, here's some of the, oh man, beads and eyes. Oh, it's so heavy. Anyway, I mean, this is kind of where we get a lot of our a lot of our stuff that goes overseas before we repackage it. Here's a lot of our bulk hooks that we use. You saw the packaged hooks before. These are the bulk. Um, 
here as you can see here's just a little shot of some of the feathers that we package up uh, here's, here's a nice batch of I'm not exactly sure what it is. I know it's fluorescent orange and it's ostrich feathers. So here we've got, this is after we process our dubbing, we have a dubbing machine which basically grinds up all our different fibers. We have a lot of different recipes. We mix our own recipes up with a lot of different fibers and we come out with, with dubbings. As an example, this is our lightning jig dubbing. So as you can see, we normally do, I think they're eight ounce bags of this dubbing. And this whole wall is all dubbing. If you come with me, I'll show you the back side. And here is more bulk dubbing. And this this is all just light bright. This whole wall is only light bright. When you look inside here, you'll see tons of it, sacks full of it. And then we have lots more dubbing here. Down towards the ends, all of our utility boxes. This is our what we use to cut all of our Zonker strips. It comes from Germany. It's a comet machine. They used to use it in the garment industry. Um, and it's got little sharp heads on it all the way across. And you take the machine, turn it like that, and you feed the rabbit skin through. It comes out the other side. And basically, you have, this is all the scrap, but you have lots of Zonker strips. So. All right, so here we're going into our upstairs lie room. All right, come on, Madison. That's our mascot, Madison, by the way. And here you have our fly room. These are all the flies that we feature in our catalog. Everything's sold typically per dozen or per carton. There's usually a dozen in a carton. On the bigger flies, like bass saltwater, there's a half dozen. You can see more and more inventory here. This is Dave Hall. And Dave looks at quality hey, controllers. Hey, hi guys. Patterns. This is where a guy named Chase, who's behind the camera right now, does his magic. And all the orders come upstairs here. They're picked. And uh, once they're picked, they'll go downstairs, they're invoiced, and then out the door they go from Brenton Shipping. Anyway, that's Tour of Spirit River. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you have any questions or concerns, you can email us at spiritriverinc.com. Thank you.